what up? It's time for a new Ruby reaction. This is chapter three of St Runaways and Stowaways. So, uh, yeah. So I did a little preview talk about the, the 34 second preview of chapter three. You can watch it right here. It's just me talking about that preview and what my predictions are and talking about how, yeah. So, I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. Chances are either this video is going to be footageless audio, just like for chapter 2, or it's going to be with footage and it's going to be the you know the regular green screen effect, just me shrink down. But Portal 64 told me that the guidelines for reactions also include the fact that you need to have your screen less than 50% small for the footage. So, who knows what's going to happen. Um, so basically I'm going to be making two versions over this week. Over the next week. Uh, one with the footage less audio. And the one with the actual footage. I'm going to upload them both. Which, whatever, which one doesn't get blocked. Will be there. So if you guys see the uh, the footage. The one with the footage and the green screen effect and all that. And the my, my own Ruby Volume 4 background right there. Then that's okay. But if you do see... Um, the footage list audio, just like chapter two, then I probably will be leaving screenshots instead. Oh yeah. So yeah, this video was recorded on the day it came out for first members, which was November fifth, but the episode itself hasn't been is out now, November twelfth. Cause that's when the episode comes out. So let's just get on with the video. This is eight this is another eighteen minute episode for God's sakes. I think this volume is gonna be longer than Volume 3. Who knows? And yes. Let's put on the episode. Chapter 3. You might notice some lag if it happens. Oh, we're going straight to Blake's. I know it. Oh, I'm going to turn that down. Yeah, I'm trying to get as much volume up so that I'll have enough to... Oh, oh there's Blake. <laughs> that guy looks like that guy from Titanic. Why is that? Well, not many people travel by boat on their own. It can be quite a lonely voyage. But I've found those that do tend to have the more interesting stories. Maybe it's just better for some people to be alone. <laughs> I get scared by that too for some reason. Maybe, but with your paranoia, I think a few friendly faces wouldn't hurt. Who says I'm paranoid? <laughs> no one. Huh. No one. I'll leave you be. That guy really does look like that guy from Titanic, the captain guy. But, uh, fair warning. These trips can be awfully boring. Hmm. I got a feeling we're going to see him again. What? Won't be needing this. Are you serious? You got rid of your bow? Wow. Huh. I would have expected like later on, but wow. Who's this? Whoa. Oh, there's Yang. Books, TV. With no end in sight. Try as they might, the local huntsmen and huntresses can't seem to get a hold of the situation at Beacon Academy. Though the failsafes have supported wireless communication within the kingdom, the loss of the CCT tower continues to prevent contact with the outside world. Talks with Atlas officials regarding repairs have so far. The Vale Council voted this week to continue to ban any air traffic that does not have a direct correlation with evacuation. Council has made it clear that they feel that Multiple rumors continue to behind the attacks at the Vital Festival tournament. While no one knows for sure, officials have confirmed that high ranking White Fang member Adam Torres was present for the attack. Any and all attempts to bring him into custody have been met with brutal force. I'm 
home. Tai Yang. Hey, Dad. Guess what came in today? What came in today? What? I can't wait for you to try this. Wait, could it be already? Well? It's for me? For you and you only. It could it be already? I knew it. I fucking knew it. Brand new state of the art Atlas Tech. You know, I thought I was gonna have to pull some strings, call in a few favors, but you were in this one all on your own, kiddo. Huh? Before I could even talk to him, General Ironwood already had one of his top scientists working on this. I right knew now. it. He wanted me to tell you that you fought admirably. You should be proud of yourself. Why? Why? Well. You gonna try it on? I, uh... I'm not feeling too great right now. Maybe later? Hmm. Well, alright. She'll wear that arm one day. Just give her time. I just noticed that her sleeve disappeared. Thanks, Dad. Oh man, she is just sad. <sighs> yeah, I was really expecting her to be in bed a lot, but no, she's just sitting there. No, she she is on her feet. Whoa. Shit. That's, that is not good. Okay, we see that person again. Who's there? Was that a was that a was that a phonus? A, 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 a water grim? Shit. Shit. Holy shit! I knew it, Aquatic Grim. It looks like a, a sea dragon. Oh boy. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, shit, man. Heavy cannon. Oh, God. 
It can fly? Shit. The fucking... <gasps> Son! Oh, yes! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, oh shit. My hero. You're not supposed to be here. Yeah? Well, it looks like you can use all the help you can get. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Yes, man. Really? So I'm guess yeah. Oh, uh, it's staff. If you can clip its wings and draw it out towards the bow, we can take it. I mean, you're the one with the swords. <sighs> yeah, let her do that while you just. That's for all. Oh, we see the extent of his semblance right there. Oh, that is so cool. What? Oh! I knew it. I knew that was going to happen for some reason. Oh, man. Oh! Damn, that was cool this right there. The part where you say it. Um. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, maybe later. Yeah, yeah, probably later, or maybe not. Oh, something. I think it's speeding up or t Oh yeah, it's speeding up. God, the action is so good in this one. Oh! Oh, that was so close! Uh. Oh! Oh! Damn! Just blew its head off! Slap him, why? Seriously, it was no big deal. Just enjoy the rest of your trip and everything will be cool. We got this. And the rabbit ears is just so fucking cute on, on whoever wears them. Whoever has them, not wear them. Whoever has What are you doing here, son? Digging the new outfit, by the way. Never did like the boat. Son! Jeez. Have you been following me? I saw you run off. Night Beacon Tower fell. Once we landed in Vale, you made sure everyone was okay, and then you just took off without saying anything. I had to. You wouldn't understand. No, I get it. The moment you left, I knew exactly what you were doing. You're going on a one woman rampage against the White Fang! What? <laughs> it felt like the Fang was your fight. They show up, trash your school. Hurt your friends? It makes perfect sense. I can't believe you. But there's no way I'm letting you do this alone. It's an honorable approach for sure, but you're gonna need someone watching your back. And that's where I come in. Us fun has gotta stick together after all. You're wrong, son. You're so, so wrong. What are you? I'm not going anywhere near the White Fang. Not yet. Seriously? Hmm. I need to sort some things out. Then why not do it with your team? 
You're friends. You're one to talk. Assuming Neptune stage and Scarlet aren't hiding below deck. You really think I could get Neptune on the ocean? Yeah, that's true. They flew back to Mistral. I told them I'd catch up. Not the first time I left them to take a boat. Yeah, that's true. Episode so, if you're not going after the White Fang, where are you going? Menagerie. Home. To Menagerie. Oh, Menagerie. What? Well, I'm coming with you. The Grim are getting worse. You saw it yourself. And just because you're not going after the Fang doesn't mean they won't be coming for you. Besides, I'm kind of already on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's really no stopping you. Nope. This is gonna be great. Never been to Menagerie before. Menagerie. Be I think. To the east. I think Aaron said it wrong. I like the sound of that. Menagerie. I think she said Menagerie, but he says Menagerie. So yeah. Do you feel it? Don't fight it, girl. What's hap? Jesus, what's happening? Jesus, something's happening. What the fuck? What? What is that? That's not a grim, is it? I just realized she has a. She has that scarab ring like that. Cinder, yeah, whatever. I am going to ask you this one more time, and I expect a clear answer. Did you kill Ospin? No! I want to hear. Jesus Christ. Yes. Reinforce I our numbers at Beacon. The relic is there. Relic? What relic? I can tell that she has some sort of disbelief on her answer. Maybe she doesn't believe her, but she's playing along. Who's who's planning? Is it over? Ah. Man, this episode This episode was fucking awesome. Even though it had some yeah. It had it had its uh moments right there with Yang. Man. All right, so let's let's recap on what we just saw in this episode. So, damn, this is going to be a long ass re reaction to do. So, we saw Blake on a boat going to Menagerie. She's approached by a captain who looks just like. The guy from Titanic, you know that guy? I'll leave a picture here somewhere of the of the captain. And instantly she just gets rid of the bow. I mean we see her with the fucking bow, I I think. In the intro? I'll have to see that. Yeah, so what I'm gonna keep on looking at that. Uh yeah, I'm gonna look at the uh I'm gonna find the intro somewhere. So we also see Yang um with her and Tying and I was really not expecting the fucking robot arm to come into the ep volume that quick, but it looks like she's really reluctant. I guess it's because she's still afraid. I mean, we did see that flash. We did hear, see her experience like that, like like that PTSD like thing. She just went through a flashback uh, and saw Adam right there. So that means she's just not ready.
But then we get that entire fucking fight scene of Blake fighting the sea dragon. I, I don't know what it's called. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what it is. If you guys know what it is. Oh, wait, no. No, no, you don't have to answer that because um, I'll find out. This video has not been weak. And then we see Sun, and we already know that she's heading to Menagerie because of the intro shelter. But, boy, man, this was, but, I wonder what she has to settle first before she, I mean, she's going after the White Fang, but I don't know what she has to do first. By the looks of it, maybe she has, and she said that Menagerie is home, so she was probably born in Menagerie and then went to, and then moved to the kingdom. Like, she left to, went to the kingdom. Maybe this volume will explain how she went from Menagerie to the Vale or wherever kingdom she, she was in. Who knows? Man. This episode, 10 out of 10, full on good. And we, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> the ending, the ending with Salem and Cinder. Uh, well, I don't know what the hell she was going... Uh, maybe there's something on her arm under that sleeve that's maybe treating her. And then we see that fucking floating thing going around Cinder, and then Salem just asks her, did she kill Ospin, which means she probably lied, and is just um, protecting herself from some punishment or whatever for not... And Salem speaks of of a of a relic, and she's talking about somebody who's up to something. Chances are, it's probably she probably doesn't believe in Cinder and thinks Ospin is still alive. But who knows? Rustit, you've done it again with another great episode. Uh, it really made us go really well after episode two, the ending right there. That was just sad, even though I didn't show it in my reaction. But it was fucking. This episode was good. 10 out of 10. Good job. I cannot wait for episode 4. Alright. I have got to go, guys. Thank you for liking and commenting on this video. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.